Is there a process that I go through when I start a consulting assignment? Yes, there is. Basically, there are seven principles of design. Now, the first one is that I determine what the objectives are of a given facility. The second one is that I try and define the volumes as much as I can in terms of uh, what's moving through the facility, how much storage there is, and what we need to do with that and han how we handle the stock. The third thing is, is once we know what the volumes are, I try to match the storage needs and the storage modes with the, the volumes and the functional requirements of the warehouse. While I'm doing that, I consider the concept of one-way flow. So it's as much as possible, I try and get the warehouse to be to moving in, uh, getting the goods moving in one direction. And coupled with that, I try to minimise the number of touches of the goods. So for warehouse personnel, um, multiple times of handling causes cost, so I try to eliminate that as much as possible. Um, the fifth thing is that I try to evaluate our options. So once we've moved all through those uh, I, concepts, then we look at the options available for the client and the customer, and, uh, and then we evaluate them both in a quantitative and a qualitative way. Lastly, we like to consult widely with everybody that's involved uh, in the warehouse and that will have a stake in it in the end. So warehouse operators, managers, we might get architects in and even some contractors in some cases. Are there mistakes that people make in warehousing? Yes, there are. And a major one is that they often obtain a warehouse before they've considered the design in terms of what they want to do and what, what they want to do inside. So I would always suggest that we design from the inside of the warehouse rather than from the outside. So as much as possible, let's try and work out what we want to do in that warehouse before we obtain the building. A second really common mistake that, that companies uh, will make is that they, they might see a piece of equipment at a trade show or at a, uh, another company's warehouse down the road and they want that piece of equipment for their own operation. But a mistake that they make involved in making those sorts of decisions is that they may get the equipment that's wrongly tailored for their specific operation. So I would always suggest that companies look at what their movements are, what their volumes are, and then design the equipment to, to meet those needs. And in that way we're not over-specifying or we're not under-specifying. So in effect we try to save money for the, the company that they would otherwise spend for elaborate solutions. What's the best time to get me involved in designing a warehouse? Well, I would say right at the outset. If a company's even thinking about putting up a warehouse in a couple of years' time, then I think right now is the time to start about what they're going to do, what the objectives are, what, what is the warehouse doing and what type of equipment is involved. Um, because if you try and cram that, then companies are likely to make mistakes during that process. What if I'm called in too late on a project? What is the impact? Well, often uh, we need to sort out some of the errors that, that could have been made along the line. And often companies, this does happen to us uh, quite often, and companies will ask us to come in and deliberate upon a solution uh, or some ideas or a building that's been purchased or whatever. Um, but if, they've, if they call us in too late, it's hard for us to recti rectify any issues that have occurred along the way. So we may have to comply with what they've done, but it may be a sub-optimal solution. Is there a good case study that I can uh, reflect, up, reflect upon, that, that I can tell you what we've done? Yes, there is. We, we did some work for a, a major supplier of, uh, of equipment in the Hunter region of New South Wales. Um, what I did with them is I did a complete review of all of their stock movements, their transactions in the warehouse, and in the course of that review, and we looked at, at over 12 months data, we actually designed the equipment that would go into that warehouse, and then not only did we do that, but we helped them implement that solution right through into a, a full-blown project. That particular project was a 12,000 square metre facility and required uh, multiple modes of picking. So it was quite an elaborate solution, and uh, we, we did that over a period of 18 months. So do we get involved in uh, not only the design but also the implementation? Yes, we do. Because warehousing is quite a, a complex uh, business, often customers don't have the expertise to not only design it, 
but to implement as well. So we're dealing with warehousing on a day-to-day -day basis, that's our core skill. So we are able to offer great value to customers in terms of uh, project management and implementation skills. For what industries have I designed warehouses? Fast-moving consumer goods, hardware, industrial applications, retail, we've just done some work in, uh, in offshore in Thailand and New Guinea in the retail sector. Um, we're doing some work for um, breakfast cereal manufacturers and, uh, and on top of that in the fashion goods industry as well. So, and there's many more. So there's quite a mix of industries that, that we work for. Um, sometimes people say, well, aren't they all the same? No, they aren't. Every client's operation is different and unique. So we try to design a solution that will meet their needs. What's the first step to, to get us involved in designing uh, a warehouse? Well, give us a call and we're very happy to, uh, to assist and, and, and provide a quotation or an appraisal of your operation. And then, uh, and then to, based on that, then we'd, we'd be happy to uh, program into our schedule uh, work with your company.